all. Hello, we are starting to uh, make some sessions on Dev 3D. We're starting from scratch. Uh, Dev 3D is a uh, code to solve hydraulic problems. Uh, what we're covering is Dev 3D flow, of course. Uh, if you open the window, it it's kind of looks like this. That's the GUI. It's called the Graphical User Interface. Uh, it is developed by the Deltaris Academy in the Netherlands. If you need a version of the code, you have to uh, register on their website and uh, ask for the code, and they will, they will give it to you for free if you are from a university. Uh, the first step is to select a working directory. That's where my mouse is. So, for example, there is this folder called test on my desktop, which I could just select that as my working directory so this is the primary directory that I'll be working at uh, well um, and then you have to generate a grid for the domain you want to solve problems and you want to simulate so you just uh, click on grid and then there is this tool called RGF grid which is the grid generation tool when you open that and wait for a while a window is gonna pop out the first step in the RGF grid is to go on these tabs click on the coordinate system and select your coordinate system either it's Cartesian which is the default or it's spherical I'm using spherical coordinates so I have to switch to spherical coordinates here Second step is to uh, import your bathymetry and generate your grid on it, of course. So you click on File and then you go to Attribute Files. You click on Open Samples and then what you have to do is to go and find your bathymetry, uh, which is in this case that I'm working on is uh, it's all these so um, for example here but this is not enough so uh, I have to open another sample here and I have to open them all so uh, all right now I have my bathymetry and if I want to view it I could grab this magnifier and draw some some area on this and as you see, this is the bathymetry of the Pontchartrain Estuary. It's located at the north of New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, so if I want to have a grid on that uh, and cover the whole area uh, or the areas that I'm interested in, uh, I have to start. And in order to start, I have to select this tool here, this tab. It's called Draw a New Spline. So I grab this and uh, let's let's get started. So I have to uh, pick some splines depending uh, on how I want my curvilinearity to be. So I let's say I start on here and. That's, that's one spline so when I'm finished with the spline I just right click so this spline is now done and then I started by left clicking again and I draw another one and let's see let's say here's my second spline and then right click and then I with left clicking I draw another spline and then right click and then I draw another spline here so 
these are my four spines so uh, this is the area I, for example I want to fit a grid in uh, of course I have a bigger area but just as a tutorial you have to click here on the top where my mouse is it says change splines into grid and by clicking into that and waiting for a while you will see the grid over here so and right now you could actually get rid of the splines by mm, well you could uh, you could not view them so you, you could go to view and then splines and then click on no splines so here's how my grid is gonna look like initially this is not really good I need some refinements I need some other stuff so I go to setting and uh, go to general and then there are some factors it's called M refinement factor and N refinement factor uh, one is east-west the other is north-south so let's say I change one to two uh, it was three and three that's why you have three cells north-south and three cells east-west and then I click OK I could do refinements uh, for example I could click on operations and click on refine grid here's, here's another grid and then again operations refine grid and here's another one it's not gonna look really good so I have to improve it by uh, going to uh, change my uh, refinement factors so let's say I change it by 2 and 2 or 3 and 2 and then again I refine it again as you see it's 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 getting a little better but it has some stuff that need to be fixed for example this area here on Lake Morpa is not covered by any grid at all but uh, you can actually cover that I, I didn't pick a really good uh, spine but uh, well uh, uh, you can do it uh, so again refine grid and refine grid so uh, this is some sort of the grid that I have uh, for this tutorial of course it's not perfect it's not covering some of the areas but by uh, by picking splines in a better way you could have a better grid this is just a tutorial uh, anyway if in some dry points you don't want grid cells you could easily come here of course it's kind of too refined now but by selecting this tool delete a grid point you could bleed some of your grid points so these are areas that are always for example let's say they're always dry so you don't need them so you just click on them and uh, you'll get rid of them uh, as you see well, the, I'm doing this right now uh, I advise you to do the same thing while your grid is not too too much refined because uh, you have to do less stuff and uh, if you need a grid point in some area that you don't have a grid point you just select on you just click this tool called insert a grid point and then you come to the area that you want grid points and then you just select them and you just you just add them and as you see for example I come into here and oops I don't know actually what happened but uh, something really went crazy I have to okay uh, yeah I zoomed a lot but if I select this tool and I insert a grid point you see I click on the previous one and you will be having grid points so I am actually covering all the areas that were not covered so uh, of course if I had better splines it would be better but as you see it is it is doing a kind of a good job uh, and I added some more cells I could add more 
to cover the whole lake. Uh, but uh, to save time, I'm not going to do that here. But actually, in, in my general grid, I have done that. And once you are done with your grid and everything looks fine to you, of course, this doesn't look look fine to me. I don't like it the way it is. Uh, you have to go to operations and click on orthogonalize grid and what it does is is that it uses a tool to make sure that the angles are mostly 90 degrees uh, otherwise uh, it will fail the simulation once you're done with the grid uh, and you are uh, okay to use it you could actually uh, export it and I talked about refinement and you could also do find the grid by the same factor that you were refining it so if you click and you do refine it let's say I do refine the grid and then right now it's still refined and uh, now I could come to the areas I don't want and then uh, delete the grid points so once you are done with your grid and everything is fine and your grid looks fine you have to uh, go to file and then click on export and then export your grid it's gonna ask you to give it a name the extension is .grd so I'm just gonna name it as testgrid.grd and when I click on save it's, it actually is going to save so this is how you generate a grid on Delphi 3D I hope this information is helpful uh, I will be covering more stuff in the next videos